Hello and welcome back to episode 13 of my Leeds United career mode. As we left off in the last episode, we were in the January transfer window trying to pick up a midfield maestro of David Beckham. We're also getting in quite a few transfer offers for you see there, Rakowski. I'm going to go through from Sunderland, Burnley, Bordeaux, all these teams, Villa. I'm just going to reject them. I'll counter offer the Villa one, just put something ridiculous if they'll come back with a big offer but I'm not expecting them. I'm kind of hoping they're not because he is continuing to improve throughout this season. So as we head towards an FA Cup game then as you see my two offers for both David Beckham and Andres Milak I think were both accepted so I was just trying to agree personal terms with both Beckham and my reserve strike to give me a bit of strength and depth in this squad. Milak was only going to be a grand a week and Beckham was quite expensive for me at 21,000 I was trying to get him for but he's more around the 25,000 see Rukowski was still getting offers in but I wasn't going to let him go so we're going to move into the first game this episode which is an FA Cup clash against Queen's Park Rangers which in this game they are actually quite good even though they have been relegated and it took until about the 10th minute where I got a uh, corner Juve picked it up outside the box Gave himself a yard and absolutely skyrocketed that into the top right hand corner. So I was ahead against QPR after 11 minutes, which for me, Leeds United was an absolute great thing to be going for. So 11 minutes in, it was the question of whether we park the bus or go for more and try to park the bus a little bit. And Rakowski shows why he's one of the most wanted players in my team, making a great save there. Tried a bit of a free kick, but nothing came off there. So going into half time. It was 1-0 with Juice's little bit of a screamer. It took to about the 55th minute for me to have some more shots against Julio Cesar. But once again, he made a triple save there, even though the last shot was offside. QPR on the break once again in the 75th minute. Weaved in and out. I failed to clear quite epically there. Nicked it from me. Nice kind of interplay and slotted in for a trap. So it was slightly disappointing. Held out for 60 minutes after taking the lead, but conceded as you'd expect and that was how it ended one all so means this was going to go to a replay but you know thinking positively one one all for Leeds against QPR is quite good more offers coming for Rukowski you see Fulham there but I'm just going to be declining them all day so I go into my team and put Paddy Kenny on the transfer list as well as Robbie Rogers they're getting on a little bit and I'm not actually using them in my team so I thought I'd kind of get them off my wage bill Got Milik and uh, had to specify that he was going to be an important first team player. Normally I don't just so they can't moan at me, but I needed to get him in my team for a bit more depth. I felt, unfortunately for me, at 31 years old, I think Juve's time was up, even though he was one of the better players in my team. So I went Salim and went on the market and found Hazard's younger brother. So I thought I'd try and bring him in for a Juve replacement to see how he plays. Beckham obviously rejected my 21,000 a week, as you'd expect. So I'm trying to negotiate with him. Anyway, going into the second game and final game in this episode, because there's been a lot of transfer negotiation going on, so I'm trying to stretch it out, because for me, the transfer window is definitely the more entertaining. 20 minutes in, Crystal Palace. You know, nearly thrown goal, but Rukowski once again just plucks it out the air to save me. I managed to do some nice interplay here about 35 minutes in. Threw on goal with Juve, but unfortunately the keeper was up to the uh, challenge and saved it and sent it out for a corner. And from the resulting corner, I whipped it in, got some heads on it, but unfortunately cleared off the line once again. So we were pressing, but weren't able to score going into the half time. So nil nil against Crystal Palace. And obviously I want to be getting those points on the board. Fierro once again though picked it up 50 fourth minute and slotted it past the keeper so we were 1-0 up he made a great run there but it was nicely found from McCormack so it's whether we could hold on and we were on the attack again a couple of minutes later and Juve making showing why he was one of the better players but keeper was up to it made another triple substitution as I like to to keep it nice and fresh to hopefully kind of put us across the line and there we go then 90 minutes in Rakowski Nearly saved that there, but boots it long and we managed to pick up the 1-0 three-point win. So it is going well for us. Apart from the draw against QPR in the league, though, we are going very, very well. So once again, 
go back onto my offers, see it needed about 1.1 for Hazard, but I managed to get my new striker, so that's going to give me more depth and a bit of challenge for Fierro. So if you have enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, maybe a favour, and share it with your friends and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys later to hopefully sign David Beckham in the next episode.